Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, today we have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is the Zips go down to Miami and lose a tough one. And, Coach, let's start the program right now by, by talking about playing without your starting quarterback, number one, and losing your number one running back early in the game. That's a, that's a tough deficit. Yeah, it was. I mean, late in the week we found out Tommy Woodson had broken a team rule. You pay the consequences of your action. He had to suffer and miss a game. We suspended him for a game, and uh, that's that's what you have to. Hopefully he'll learn from that. We'll move on. We had to get our backup quarterback, Cato, yep. ready in a couple of days to put him at first team. And uh, – and we move forward. You know, Deltron's is the, uh, Sands, our running back, broke his leg right. in the game, and we hate to lose him. But you know what? You just got to step up and keep on going. And Cato Nelson stepped up and did a great job for a freshman playing in his first uh, starting position in college football game. You know, if we could have run the ball better for him and stop the exactly. run, way the game went, it put maybe too much pressure on him to have to win it himself. But I was awful proud of the way yeah. he played uh, in that game. Let's talk about the good news, Coach. You still have two regular season games left and all the goals as far as winning in the Mid-American Conference Championship, going to a bowl game, they're still there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, every game in November means something. And of course, that one right there would have locked something up and right. only made the next one even bigger. Well, the next one still is big. You got Ohio. You got Ohio for a chance to be on top again in the, in the division. And so you prepare with great motivation because that's one of your goals uh, in that game. And then Kent State's our rival. Everybody gets up for the rival. So there's a lot to yeah. play for. Almost every goal is still out there uh, that you want to have. In fact, every goal is still out there that you want to have for this season. So we know this game has been—it's it's, kind of like life. Football's right. up and down. You beat Buffalo and you lose a tough one to Miami. Now you just got to—you got to regain, regather, and you got to get focused on the next football game. There you go. The Zips lose a tough one down at Miami on Tuesday night. Final score was 24 to 14. Let's go back down to Oxford right now. Let's watch highlights of the first half brought to you as always by Summa Health Systems. Pretty nice night for November. It coach. really was. You know, for, I think four years ago we went down there in 2012 and hadn't won in 30 years. And, and we had won twice in a row there. But this night they got after us pretty good. There's a the running back. Nice tackle there by Sean. Very good. Featherstone made the tackle. Sean Featherstone. We get the ball back. We come back and make a nice throw to Quadarius Smith, one of his six catches on the evening. That's the first play the Cato's college football starting career. And the next play, he runs the ball for about 15 yards. Did a great job there of running the football. He's got great running ability, great arm. He just got to learn how to relax and sit in the pocket. Look at there's Quadarius Smith break with one tackle, two tackles. Mike's a nice first down on another drive. Now we're going down to drive that football. We get a nice chip shot. We use Nick Gasser this week because we haven't been hitting our field goals. And he misses a chip, chip shot. So he's getting, he, he's pretty consistent, but he missed that first one. We missed an opportunity there that, that really kept us a little bit behind the back. Great tackle there by Ulysses Gilbert. He had eight tackles for the day. Great job there. Comes back, uh, makes a nice, nice interception. Sean Featherstone makes his big interception. Great job there. Good to see him right there making the interception. Gets the ball back down across 50 into their territory. And now we've created a turnover. We got ourselves down there, missed a field goal. And then we come back, get an interception, and now have a chance to really get ourselves down. A.J. Coney making a big catch over the middle, taking it inside the 20-yard line. Now we're in the red zone. we got to get points out of that. Beautiful job. Manny Morgan come back running very hard, uh, very powerful legs as Manny gets the ball right there. Uh oh, now watch Cato. Watch him make people miss. He's got some talent. Drives, reaches for the extends, makes the touchdown. And we're up 7 to nothing. We missed a field goal the first drive. We've got a touchdown the second drive. Offensively, I think everybody, everybody is ready to play, but so is Miami. And they come back, and here's a good gang tackle by our defense led by uh, Ulysses Gilbert right there. They come back, 14's there. Uh, Gus Ragland had a great game for them. Nice job right there. Kyron Brown did a great job most of the night against their best receiver. Their guy, they got behind us there, though. Got behind us, made the perfect pass for the touchdown. That ties it up 7-7. Seven to seven. We come back, we get the ball deep. We made some mistakes in the kickoff. We took it on the edge and stepped out of bounds and got us backed up deep. 
Now we're into the second quarter, but we still got the, the ball moving, making right? good run right there by Manny Morgan. He had 40 yards, average four yards a carry. Not a lot, but good enough. Cato finding a, finding a chance to run the football. When you're young and you don't know anybody's open, you just run. And he did a lot of that. Manny Morgan getting the ball in the flat. Nice job there of moving that football. Now they come back with us. They stop us there. We punt. We come back. Oh, man, almost intercepted. Almost intercepted again by Kyron Brown. We get the ball coming back. Nice. Watch that. Look at him rip that football to Austin Wolf. What a nice catch there by Austin Wolf. And uh, now here's the good run. Uh, Van Edwards making a nice run there. Picking up some yardage. They stop us. Now they come back. Good tackle there. Gang tackle there. Brian Bell made a good tackle there. We're trying to put some pressure in that corner. We couldn't sack him all night. But we're making big plays. Boy, that one was almost an interception right there. Almost an interception. And we come back. Force their receiver quarterback to throw it. It throws it right into a crowd. Nice interception, Jordan George. Our second interception of the day. We got to come back and try to get some points. We're, on the, we're not. There's a uh, Dre Williams, one of our true freshmen, catching the screen and making some positive yardage. We're trying to get ourselves down the field, position to get a field goal. Look at Austin Wolf again. Look how him fight for that football, fight for that yardage. Cato stands in that pocket. There he goes. Once he starts scrambling, anything can happen. Good job of getting positive yardage. And, uh, and just making a lot of people miss to make two yards. A lot of running for about two yards. So they come back, though. We miss a fourth and two right. where we could have scored. They come back and kick a field goal. So miss fourth and two, missed field goal, down 10 to seven and a half. You know, we talked about Cato Nelson before on the programs, mm -hmm. Coach. Out of all the quarterbacks, I think he throws the best ball. I'll tell you, great oh, oh, tight no, spiral. Out of, without a doubt, he has the most natural throwing ability yeah. and release. And he can throw the football. He can run. Now he's just got to learn how to play football, learn how to, to be in the fast pace of a game and go through that over and over again. And so, yeah, he, he'll be fine he, as he learns to relax in the pocket, yeah. learn when to get rid of the ball, when to throw it real quick, when to hold on, when to scramble, and, and when to get rid of the ball. So I, I'm awful pleased. His ability is, is right there at the very top. He's got a great future. Hey, the Zips are down 10 to 7 at half the other night down at Miami. We're going to take a break. When we come back, a feel-good story close to Thanksgiving time. We're going to take a look at Quadarius Smith right after this. The difference with Once Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself. To give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated to feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, every college football team has very unique stories with their personnel. And, Coach, we've got one with a guy that you've known for a long time, Codarius Smith. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> interesting background. He went to grade school with my children. I mean, my daughter, Jamie Taylor, and he would come by our house and play. I, I, and I forgot about him. Then all of a sudden, I come up to Akron, and he's a senior in high school. And he's, he runs a 10, 500 meters, and he can fly. <laughs> and so we recruit him. We lose him to Missouri to run track. Then he wants to play football transfers back here. Uh, it, it, it's, it's interesting how the thing works, yeah. but it's a great story. Quadarius is a, I'm, I'm glad to have him as a part of our program. Right now, let's take a look at Quadarius Smith and his very unique story. My first time going to foster care, I was four years old. I went back in like third grade. Um, and uh, this time it was relative foster care. My grandmother on my father's side, um, who still lives in Orlando, she's still alive and everything. Um, she took me in a relative foster care, and it was just bad. Uh, it, things just weren't good at home. The community embraced Quadarius. He's just one of those guys that if he claims you, you're his. And there, it's our family and some other families that opened their hearts and opened their homes to him and really wanted to see him be that success story. I never met someone that like had never, because my family had its issues, of course, like everybody, but it never 
was I going house to house or switching and that really like um, I don't know we all took turns you know taking him in and just showing him love in every way possible. I have a lot of families uh, the A Bears who've been so great so great to me and I mean we we've had our differences but they've been really really great to me. Quadarius and I met when he was in fourth grade and I was a teacher and he was a student at Lake Silver Elementary in College Park and I took over a classroom that he was in and um, there was some misbehavior going on in the classroom and this little boy comes walking up to me and says Miss Layton I'm real sorry that the kids are being naughty and I'm gonna help you. Uh, the Teelands, they are actually one of the first families that I've met um, besides the Laytons, the Williams, like I said, the Williams, uh, the McGee's, just a lot of family that really took me in under their wings. But this is a man on a mission. He had that fire in his belly that he was gonna make his life good. That's a great story, Coach. There's some, some uh, familiar faces there, right? Yeah, I recognize the teacher of that grade school that my children all went to back in Orlando. And, of course, I, I didn't even know Quadaris of Tech. He would just come and play at the house some at that point, like I said. But it's, it's a feel-good story. He's, I, I like to see young men that overcome difficulties and don't blame those difficulties yeah. on their future and step up to the plate and, and go through with their life. And Quadaris is one of those. I'm, I'm going to be as excited to see him graduate from Akron as anything else he's going to do. We're going to talk about him a little bit later. By the way, you can watch the full Quadaria Smith story on GoZips.com. That'll be on during Thanksgiving week. Right now it's time for whatever it takes moment of the game brought to you every week by uh, Bryant and Eating. We're going to come back. We're going to do that later. We're going to take a break right now. Come back with more right now. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others want. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden. We're at halftime from Tuesday night's game down in Oxford. The Zips down 10-7. to 7. Coach, I talked to you at halftime. The one thing you want to do, establish that run in the second half. Yeah, we've got to run more. Yeah, young quarterback. Yeah. His first start, redshirt freshman. If you run the ball, he didn't have to think and worry that play. Yeah. Give the ball, like the, but we weren't making enough yards. You need to pick up the six and seven so you can come back and, and decide whether to run or throw on a short yardage play. And so we weren't quite able to run as well as needed. And he got back in the pocket and just had to carry a lot of the weight on exactly. his shoulders. And then defense, we couldn't get our defense off the field like we needed to. Let's go back down to Oxford, Ohio. Tuesday night, the Zips taking on the Miami Redhawks. Akron down 10 to seven. Second half highlights brought to you by Summa Health Systems. Here they go in our opening drive, uh, second half. A nice run here. Manny Morgan tries to jump, leap over the defensive back, but they about eight yards. They do stop us. They come back with their drive. There's a good team effort right there. Good job right there. Jamal Davis making the tackle. You can see number nine right there. Pounding up the middle of the first series. They had the ball. We stop them three straight times. You see Camaro in the middle. We come back, get a little bit more heat on that quarterback. He throws it. We almost intercept the football right there. Almost our third interception. He had it. Anyway, we forced him to punt back to us now as we start our second drive. And, of course, Cato's going right back to his scrambling. Looked like a little bit of a late hit there as he went down. We, they, we stopped us. They stopped us. Now they've come back with their third drive. It's 10 to 7 now. Yep. Somebody's got to make something happen. We haven't done enough on offense defensively. We haven't been able to stop. There's a nice job there again. Looks like that's Ulysses Gilbert again, one of his eight tackles for the night. Their quarterback comes back, rolls right, throws back. Watch their running back. We got him covered perfectly. He cuts inside, makes the catch, and takes it in the end zone. Wow. Just a great play on their part because yeah. our guy had him covered. 
and that was a big one. Made it 17 to seven, and now you start to add up there. We've got to make a comeback. Nice run. Manny Morgan makes a nice run. I think he had 40 yards on the evening, but it was about four yards of carry. But he runs tough yardage. Cato's trying to find somewhere to throw. One, he, one thing he can do, he can scramble for first down, knows where the sticks are. He gets the first down. When they hold us there, their quarterback comes back, throws the flare route. Brian Bell right there makes this out the open field tackle by Brian Bell. Very good, strong football player. There's the pitch outside. Good job there. Outstanding job by Jordan George on the tackle there. They come back. Here's the throw, the jump ball. He finally made him on that great receiver, Gardner, that they have. Made the great catch. And uh, he was covered most tonight by Kyron Brown. But he made the catch there. We come back. Nice catch by A.J. Coney. Gets hit as he catches it. Big catch over the middle as we come back and trying to get ourselves back in the ball game. Quadarius Smith makes another nice catch before they uh, knock him down. Cato makes a fine throw right there. Quadarius, again, one of his six catches. Right across the middle. Brings the ball to midfield. They're playing a little bit of their prevent defense. Got a little bit back on us. Now watch this big throw. Trevon Chapman, the corner of the end zone, touchdown. Great job getting us now back in the game. Only 10 points down. When you have that, that's just a yeah. field goal and a touchdown. So you want to be the next to score. We work hard defensively to try to get them to stop them. Good tackle right there by our defense. We've got the ball. Nice throw. Getting back up to the 50-yard line. Very close to the 50-yard line. So we get that drive. There's, here comes Cato making the run. Makes people miss. Gets across the 50 right there. Got trying to make something happen. We can just get this next score. Everything is, is in reach. There's a nice play. Takes the ball inside the 30. That's Austin Wolf. Gets the ball inside the 40-yard line. Trying to get that touchdown. Just 10 points down. Anytime you score and you got an onside kick, you got a chance to win the game. Dre Williams, true freshman, making his second catch. We ran out of yep. time. Ran out of time. And uh, I get, we had beaten them four straight times. It was just too much. They played the better game, and uh, and uh, it wasn't going to be our night. Kato Nelson, Judd, uh, just enough good things to say he's going to be something special in yeah, the future. I mean, it's just a matter of experience. Yeah. He can throw. He can run. He's 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 smart. He he can he can do the things we have done. Yeah. Now just let's get him settled down a little bit. Let him settle exactly. down, run our offense. But I mean, he was thrown into a pretty serious opportunity, and he and he and I think he did a very good job of it. Too. You know, did a very good job, and I'm very pleased with his performance. Now it's time for whatever it takes. Moment of the game brought to you by Brian Heating and Cooling. We're going to take a look at Cato Nelson, his first collegiate start. We're going to watch him scramble right now for his first collegiate touchdown, Coach. A lot of potential right here. Well, it just makes a lot of people miss. He really can run the ball well, reaches across, puts it in the end zone. Nice job making that touchdown. Good job that he can do some things that the other quarterbacks can't do. And, uh, and he's got a great arm, too. So he's got the throwing ability to, to be a pocket quarterback and the running ability. Now it's just a matter of putting the pieces together, putting the offense around him, and, and, and having it all work out smoothly. And being down the sidelines, it seems like the players like Cato. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's a well-liked guy. Yeah. He's been around, and, and I think the players enjoy playing for him. And, again, experience is the only thing he doesn't exactly. have. That's the only thing he doesn't have. Now it's time for Whose Stock is Rising. We pick out a zip each week that's really showing great potential, brought to you by the Wentz Financial Group. I guess today's the Quadarius uh, Smith story. He's our guy on the rise. Had six catches, Coach, for 69 yards. He really did. Made some nice catches. Made some people miss. He's only about 170 pounds, but like I said, he's, he's got great speed. He's run 10, 400 meters. He's got good, good speed. They play off of him a lot because they're worried about his speed. And he makes some nice catches there. Nice job picking up some big yardage. So we've gone to him more and more. And you see it over and over again. Here's a throw over the middle. He makes the inside cut. Catches it over the middle. Makes a couple of guys miss. Gets north and south. Picks up his yardage. And so, Quadarius did a nice job against Miami. I thought I was real pleased with the way he played. They have to respect his uh, the speed to go deep. He has a lot of things open up in, inside for him. Well, that's what happens. If you play off of yeah. him, their best corner was on him. When they play off, he right. just makes a quick stop, and, he, and he's going to be open if you throw it on time. So because of his good speed, uh, he has a chance to catch things shorter underneath exactly. because of them uh, worried about how fast he can run downfield. We're going to take a break, come back, and announce our Players of the Week for the game down at Miami right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs 
and the little things that make a big difference. It takes the dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. It takes HJAX Plumbing and Heating to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at HJAX.com. Okay, right now it's time to announce our players of the week for the game down in Oxford on Tuesday night. Offensively, we went with quarterback Cato Nelson making his first collegiate start. Coach, we've talked a lot about him today, but he ends up with some pretty good numbers for his first start. Yeah, 218 yards and a touchdown pass, a touchdown run, no interceptions. He got sacked because scrambling around too much, but he, he really gave, put us in some good pitch positions to be successful right here, making a nice run for a touchdown. And, uh, you know, the, learning what to do when things aren't open is what the next step because he can throw that football oh, yeah. and he can scramble around. Uh, but we got we got the other parts of the game have got to come. But boy, I, I, I just thought he did a good job under the circumstances. I would have liked to have run better so he didn't have to throw it as much, you know, in a circumstance like that. But given the circumstances he was under, what a great job he did. He has a big league arm, that's for sure. Defensively, we went with defensive back Alvin Davis. Continued to be a leader in the secondary. Seven solo tackles and a six. Well, he's all over the field. He loves to play football, loves to tackle. And, uh, and I just he's just one of those guys that you love to watch play because he's always around the football and uh, makes plays over and over again on the field. Every week we see him play, he's just, uh, just a sophomore, but he started as a true freshman half the season last year. He just does a good yeah. job for us, and he's, a, he's, been a, he's been a winner for us back there in the secondary. Not a big guy, but he can hit. Yeah, he really is. He has, he's built like a cornerback, yeah. but he plays safety so well, that's just where we need to play. Special teams player of the week, we went with the junior return man Van Edwards, brought it back 54 yards in kickoff returns, had a long return coach at 23. Yeah, a good return, he got us a good field position on his returns and uh, we had some other good returns had a penalty here and there that brought us back but he did a good job on his returns and to get us good field position the key is if the ball goes to the end zone you get it on the 25 right. I don't like people to bring it out but when you when it's outside get that ball up make a play get us beyond the 20-yard line get us some positive action get us some positive field position this is our first offensive play. Where are you going to start field position? And that's really part of starting field position, getting us up over the 25 to the 26-yard line. He's a tough guy who uh, who gets that on the kickoff return. You really have to be fearless on those punt and kickoff returns. Yeah, yeah. If you don't if you if you don't like contact, that's you're not right. going to be a kickoff return because they come at you full speed. Just exactly. two, two sides coming full speed at each other. As we said, just two regular season games left. The Zips at home Tuesday night to take on the Ohio University Bobcats. We're back with a scouting report right after this. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at Zoom. They're my doctors, but they're my friends. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with Once Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie-cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client's situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Once Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, it's another Tuesday night game for the Zips. This one coming up on the 14th against the Ohio University Bobcats. Coach, can we call this the biggest home game of the season or not? Well, yes, it's the next one. Yeah. The next one's yeah, always, the, next one's the, always biggest. the biggest. I, right. I, you know, it's, the more you win or the more you put yourself in a chance to play for something, the bigger they get, yeah. which makes this one the biggest. Because, again, if we're sitting 5-5. Five and five, You're playing the number one uh, team in the division. If you beat them, you become the number one team in the division, uh, and you beat them head-to-head. So it, it, all those things are out there. So it, does, it is a b biggest game uh, because of what we've done beforehand to get us here. It'll be a 7 o'clock kickoff. Of course, the Bobcats coached by veteran uh, Frank Solich. He's been around for a while. Yeah, I've known Frank for a long time back when he was at Nebraska and I was at Auburn coaching yeah. and got to know him. And then uh, uh, when he left uh, Nebraska and was out a little bit, I saw him on the broadcasting yeah. uh, angle of things and, so, and watched him do a great job coming back to Ohio where he's from and finishing his career at Ohio. He's one of the, he's a very respected, I, I really, uh, really enjoy Frank. He's a good, he's a great 
guy for our for our profession. As far as the Bobcats are concerned, they have a quarterback very familiar to the Zips. You recruited Nathan Rourke. He's, I think, the best running quarterback in the league. Yeah, we, we made short of quarterbacks last year. We went looking everywhere for yeah. quarterbacks. And the first guy, one of the first guys we got found was this guy out of, out of Canada, Nathan yeah. Rourke. And we found him, and he visited with us and had a great visit. But then he went to Ohio the next yeah. week. And they wanted that, country, that that college campus a little different. We have a city campus. We love what we've got. But we're different than Ohio right, in, the, in the atmosphere. And so some guys love coming to this type of atmosphere. Some guys love coming to that. Those just happen. There you go. We're back next week with more Zip Football. Zip Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.